Clarification. Clarification. Is it time sensitive? Yes. It is time sensitive. And anybody, do we want to move along to form to the strategic discussion? Please show your your agreement for that. Agreement for moving for moving on to strategic discussion as planned. <coughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh, once again, I get, let me get a count. Who is supportive of extending time for strategic for, for formal proposals for a few more minutes? I'm going to limit it at five minutes tops. One, two, one, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's more than twelve, so you've got two minutes. Okay. So that sometime post Monroe Park and the arrest there, a temp check, which you see on the walls here, for our flag fundraiser to raise. Monies for legal defense, there was a full room of hands and nobody in opposition. And I talked to finance along the way, and it's now launched. Um, and I feel like it's time, I, I need to come back to get GA's inform, GA informed and get consensus on the process that I've engaged uh, in taking forward from that temp check, temp check originally. So, the purpose is to raise money to cover fines and court costs for all the arrests related to Occupy protests. Funds dispersed based on calendar arrival of fines and court costs imposed. You know, you know, whoever comes out of the process first, those are paid. And we keep raising monies until everybody comes out of the process and fines and court costs are paid. Consideration regarding extra dollars left over after all fines and court costs are paid will be made in a different time, different fashion. Um, sales of the prayer flags will occur online and in person. Teams who wish to do sales will receive merch and inventory accounting processes that they would have to follow, returning inventory and funds collected. Receipts from online sales will accumulate in a dedicated <coughs> PayPal account, here's the uncomfortable part for me, in my name. Cash and checks from local sales deposit will be directly deposited into a credit union account, a dedicated, separate, nothing else happening in except this project, credit union account. Jonathan from Financial, and I talked with financial members, um, would be overseeing the activity, reviewing for transparency and oversight, uh, bank accounts, or, uh, statements, and the online activities, and the inventory and receipts process. Um, 
I basically <laughs> spent my own money, put my own time, a number of other people volunteered and created all this beauty that you see on the walls. I've got close to 80 sets, and there's a large number of us, 13 total, going through the legal process, and finally the court costs are going to be coming out of that process soon. Why I feel I need to come back for approval of this is I'm not completely comfortable doing it on behalf of, totally on my own. I really want the assembly to approve the process, including Jonathan from financial and or a designated replacement. I want somebody to, owe, to look into, to be a full partner in reviewing the money flow as it happens. I don't want any questions or any lack of transparency on it. Okay, so any clarifying questions? Chris? Oh, so this would identify everybody that's been arrested so far? Anyone arrested within an Occupy protest, which is <coughs> nine, ten people if you include Ian's downtown, if he has a fine, if he loses his case, and then the Monroe Park where I took another citation and there were two people arrested during the protest, fines and court costs, uh, fines and court costs, yes, are, are what I'm proposing be covered. If there's plenty of money left over, possibly something for legal fees, possibly dedicating it to other use. There is a potential to raise more money than we need. But definitely, simply in chronological order, if one of the mass cases gets settled first and there's fines imposed, that person is number one in line. Number two, however they come off the calendar of the courts as the money's arrayed, that's what I'm, just very simple, the luck of the draw, the roll of the dice, however it comes out, that's the way it comes out. No, no decision making to be made, it just... You said this would include Ian Graham as well? I don't know the names of the two people arrested for mass at Monroe Park. Are you able to talk to him? Oh yeah, Ian, too. If there's a fine or a court cost there, you know, imposed upon him, I would, I would, that is included in this. And it's absolutely by calendar, whoever comes out and it's imposed, that's the manner that we disperse funds. Okay. Alright, so... Alright, Dave? David, um, yeah, I would just like some clarity because I'm not sure what you're proposing. It sounds like you're proposing a number of different things. So can you bullet point those? So the proposal is that this is an official activity, number one. What is it? The, the current flag <laughs> sales raising monies for fines and court costs for all arrested during that, so that it becomes promoted officially to our ORBA. <laughs> Secondly, that the process of transparency be set in place, overseeing all the financial activity through an online PayPal, which is in my name, through a credit union account, which is in my name, and then the disbursements thereof from those accounts would be directly overseen and monitored by financial, so that it is in accord with what's being proposed here. You know, and that is that whoever comes out of the court and on February 1st, the first person has a court cost and fine imposed, that's the first one to receive monies and payment for it. For the next one, the next one. So it's a process of both disbursement and monitoring cash flow. Okay, I'm going to take two more clarifying questions and then try and wrap this up. Right. Well, Danielle? Okay, um, I think, and this is specifically to you, but also I know that there's been several other legal fundraisers that legal has had no part in whatsoever and hasn't been notified of how much money we've raised. I mean, no one has told us anything, and we have actually asked for information, and a lot of times the people we ask don't have the information. So we need to know how this is distributed, you know, who's getting paid, who isn't getting paid, so that we are able to have that information also. While financial definitely needs to be on the Okay, so can I respond directly to that? Because that's important. There has been no Occupy Richmond fundraising to date. Yes, sir. No, 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 no. That was one of the radical anarchists. No. The, the, the right. cellar right. door? The right. cellar door? Right. Okay. Right. Okay, okay. All right, so. That's why I want this. Bring legal in. Next, next question. All right, cool. just through to the moderators of clarification, there are um, five more people who wanted questions asked. But Christina on this side is next. Oh, 
I'm sorry, Sarah. Uh, how confident are you that you'll be able to meet everyone 100%? Because I'm worried that maybe the first person or first few people would get reimbursed in full, and then farther down the line, like, someone ends up not really having more customers. There's a two-part answer to that. One is, if it's me doing it, I'm fairly confident that I'll never manage to raise enough money. But if people want to get involved, if if it's a function of how much heart and connection is in this room and is at home watching for the minutes tomorrow and is concerned and caring, and I think we'll continue to raise money until everybody's support costs are paid off. That's my personal commitment to keep on going until there's no fines or no anything left. And I think we can do it. But it's we. And and there'll be there'll be information that will allow everybody a chance to continue until we meet that goal. Point of process. We consensed on five minutes. I agree. Yeah, that was what I was going to do. So basically, we're going to take a temp check on this right now. Who's in support of this proposal? Who's not in support of this proposal? Um, is, that is this a meeting? I have a really important point of clarification. I feel. Is there going to be a process that? Because as of now, I personally feel like all of the all of the people who have been arrested are worthy of this. But what happens when people decide to be violent um, or or break a law? Like, they they'll be expect expecting reimbursement. When will there be a way to vote to say this person? Well, this person was violent towards a police officer. Okay. That's not going to be covered. As facilitation, I'm feeling very much like this is not clear enough to, to actually go through as a formal proposal, and I see a lot of support for that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to propose that this be tabled, and then come back at our next GA on Thursday, which is only four days away, and is still pretty time sensitive. Is there support for tabling this proposal? Is anyone who wants to not table this proposal and finish it now? Okay. Could I ask for the people who have, that didn't get their questions answered, or didn't bother to indicate that questions, please be in touch with me because I already have issues that, you know, I mean, I, I'm not really comfortable. I temp check this and I'm, I'm moving forward with it and I really want it to be supported and transparent and clear and I need finality on it and, and please help. And this, help we can give it. good time to this on Thursday, but let's finish up our agenda Thank for you. tonight. Thank you. Okay. All right, thank you everybody for your patience getting to this part of the process. I'm pretty excited about this. Um, you know, point of clarification? Point of information. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do now is work on developing a 2020 uh, uh, strategy for ORVA, Octobar RBA. Um, I'm guessing based on some of the threshing sessions we had over the last three weeks that this is not necessarily, that this strategy may not be as focused on the next 12 months, as more so focused on the earlier part of the year, which gives us more time to strategize and create strategic plans later in the year, but we'll have to see what comes out of this meeting. The way I'd like to run this is um, to first go over some definitions of goals, objectives, strategies, and tactics, so we're all on the same, same page as we go into this meeting, um, and then break into small groups for people to discuss what we've been discussing over the last three weeks and what you would like to see the major goals be for ORVA in 2012. We're going to take 20 minutes to do that and then come back and spend about 45 minutes presenting those goals, getting them writ up, wrote, written up on big whiteboards and highly visible places. We're going to then go through and temp check each one of these major goals and see which we have the, the real support for, consensus support for. And then um, we'll be able to take that information and use the things that we have clear support for to create a strategic plan and, a, and we'll go back to a small group that can meet whoever wants to be involved to start aligning those, that, those goals into some kind of a strategic plan. If we have time tonight, which I don't think we will, we can talk about some objectives that fit within those goals, but if not, those are things that can be an ongoing process. To be clear, this is not a final thing. We can always add goals to our list of goals. So my personal goal for this meeting is if we could come out with three to five really clear goals um, that could possibly, that, that could be accomplishable in 2012. Um, so that's what it's going to look like. And then we're also going to assign point people once we get to objectives and that kind of thing. Um, 
I just have one more thing I'd like to go over, but could everybody, I've got to grab one, could everybody grab the sheet or buddy up with somebody with the sheet that talks about goals, objectives, strategies, and uh, tactics? And then, and I'm just, I wanted to get that out, and then... Okay, because I said, I said okay. Mike check? Mike check! This is a point. This is a point. And I think my check will be very helpful. Yes. I think my check will be very helpful. Goals. Goals. A goal is a high level achievement. A goal is a high level achievement. The simpler the better. The simpler the better. Like? Like? Increasing GA attendance. Increasing GA attendance. Or dismantling corporate personhood. Or dismantling corporate personhood. They can also be mountaintops of organizational success. They can also be mountaintops of organizational success. Like make Orva a household name. Like make Orva a household name. They could be trying to solve a nas nagging systemic problem. They could be trying to solve a nagging systemic problem. Or doing something new, dramatic, and big. Or doing something new, dramatic, and big. Goal set at the top of a strategic plan. Goals at the top of a strategic plan. And usually, in an ideal plan, in an ideal plan has no more than a handful of them. Has no more than a handful of them. Anything more can be overloaded. Anything more can be overloaded. Objectives. Objectives. In our framework, in our framework, an objective is anything that's measured. An objective is anything that's measured. Goals. Uh, excuse me. This is that's confusing. Objectives. That should be objectives. Can be members in a community. Can be members in a community. Petitions gathered. Petitions gathered. Bills won or defeated. Bills won or defeated. Or any other clear, definable win. Or any other clear, definable win. Objectives determine how you fulfill a goal. Objectives determine how you fulfill a goal. Multiple objectives can and should support a single goal. Multiple objectives can and should support a single goal. Strategies. Strategies. A strategy is a way to describe a series of tactics. A strategy is a way to describe a series of tactics. Or very specific actions. Or very specific actions. In support in sports or war. In sports or war. Strategy is often described as described as an action. Strategy is often described as an action. Like increased troops, troop levels in a region. Like increased troop levels in a region. Do man-to-man -man coverage. Do man-to-man -man 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 coverage. The commonality is action performed by a team or group of people. The commonality is action performed by a team or group of people. Each strategy description begins with a verb. Each strategy description begins with a verb. And signifies something that is being done. And signifies something that is being done. All right, I'm going to skip the rest of that. Tactics. 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 A tactic is a very specific action. A tactic is a very specific action. Like creating a new program or improving an existing one. Like creating a new program or improving an existing one. A tactic might be launch a new website. A tactic might be launch a new website. Or turn out 300 people plus to X event. Or turn out 300 people plus to X event. Each tactic has an owner. Each tactic has an owner. That's where I'm going to stop. Um, so, the point is, we're looking for really broad level goals at this point, and then we can start talking about objectives to serve those goals. And then from there, I was figuring that certain specific objectives would be taken on as point people, like, for example, um, I know that our point, pe point people for what we're doing at the Virginia General Assembly is currently Claire and Will. These are people who have owned and they want more, but they've owned a particular objective, which is have a clear and, you know, and, and powerful presence at the uh, GA. And then those point people would then develop strategies and tactics that support that particular objective and the overarching goal, and then present those things to the group. Um, does everybody, does this make sense? Does this kind of way of talking about it make sense and people come from it? <coughs> Um, are we ready to move forward? Do we have any clarifying questions? I guess is really where we're at. Just my question. Does anyone have an extra sheet that Jill and I can share? Sure. I 
I guess I have a clear, clarifying question. How were these definitions arrived at? These are common definitions that come, I, I did research on the web. I actually pulled these from the strategic planning uh, guidelines. Okay, so I didn't write these. Right. Okay. It wasn't done by the group. It was called from a source. This, this is the, yeah. This is common terminologies that you find out there when people are building strategic plans. Okay. Um, sometimes objectives and goals are swapped. That's the only thing that I say. Some people would define what we're defining as a goal as an objective, and what we define as an objective as a goal. It just depends on which community you're in. Um, okay. So the, the way what we're going to do now is that I'd like everybody to break up into groups. What's our current count? We are at 61. 61. Point of clarification? Information? Yeah, we, before we break into groups. Okay, so let's break into 10 groups of six. Does that sound good? For a 20 minute period. And if each group could come up with anywhere from one to five goals that they'd really like to see part of our uh, strategic plan for 2012, we'll come back, we'll get those up, and we'll start the temp check. Before we break, yeah, so I'm just laying out the plan. Point of information. Thank you. Um, a bunch of people have been asking Kenny Allen and myself about the index cards and how they exist. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. Hi, I'm Dave. Someone's speaking. Do you think Chris? Someone Excuse is speaking. Me. Excuse me. He's back. Excuse me. Okay. Yeah, someone's speaking. Oh, that's right. Okay. Um, so just a real quick clarification, point of information. A lot of people have come up to Danielle and myself asking about these index cards and how they fit into this. Um, each of those right now are being filled out with grievances, like the issues that brought us all together, and an effort to help us all figure out why we're all here to better inform our goals. So take each of these index cards and just put like one grievance on each one, just to clarify, and that's how that fits into this. Okay, great. So 10 groups of six, maybe break off with people who are near you, some people go out here. We'll take, we'll take 20 minutes, which puts us in at uh, 7, 55. Let's be back on a hard time at 7.55, and then we'll try and do the next step in about half an hour. All good? Yeah, just to let everyone know, there is a room downstairs uh, as well. Um, and personally, I'm going to be a smoking room outside. Me too. I was just saying, it's easier to get back. Mike Jack! Mike Jack! A good, good suggestion. suggestion. The more people who stay here, the more people who stay here in this room, in this room, the quicker we'll get restarted. The quicker 